My name is Mitchell Mehta. I'm a retina specialist at UC Irvine, Gavin Herbert Eye Institute, and I also work for a company called Idaptic. Hi, and what did you present here at AAO this year? So my presentation at AAO uh, is a study we ran where we had 20 subjects who had macular degeneration. Uh, they're in their 70s to 90s uh, in age, and they all had significant vision loss. And we were able to assess how functional they are on daily activities, reading a utility bill, being able to read the cans in the grocery store, read signs in a grocery store, that kind of stuff. And when we assessed that, then we gave them the idaptic glasses, the prototype glasses, and with these 20 people we were able to dramatically improve their ability to do activities of daily living and the, and the regular functional activities. Is this device currently on the market or are you conducting further research? So we're going to start uh, manufacturing the product for a release, uh, hopefully by the end of this month or early next month. Uh, this will be available to the users who already tried it, they were first in line, um, but then soon Hopefully, a month or two after that, we'll have enough to be able to, to sell it nationally across the country. What is the potential price range you're looking at? So, we haven't exactly decided yet, but it's probably going to be somewhere on the order of $3,000, which, because it's such a high number, we feel like it would be a lot easier for people to put a little bit down and then have kind of a, a monthly payment plan sort of thing, because it's just a lot of these people are on fixed incomes because they're an older population for the most part. So we're trying to make it get in the hands or on the faces of as many people as possible because that's our goal is to help more people see better as much as we can. How large is this device? Is it conspicuous to wear in public? So it is a wearable um, pair of glasses. It's about the size, if you remember what the old cataract glasses are, or sometimes people wear them when they're playing poker so no one can look in their eyes, kind of like wraparound sunglasses. How does this device work? It doesn't just magnify. The magnification is helpful, but it's not the whole of what people need. People need magnification when they're reading, but the majority of people's lives is not actually reading, it's seeing things, and you have to be able to walk around. So what we do is something called a nonlinear magnification. So we'll magnify the center of something, but then we'll decrease the magnification towards the sides, so it, everything is completely lined up with the world around you. And you can look around the glasses, you can look above the glasses, so you have the whole world available to you. You're not closed in like you are in virtual reality. So, because we want people to, to use these, to use them in their daily lives and be functional, be independent. How long before this device will be available? We're hoping for a month for our pilot program. We'll try to get some sites around the country to be able to be the first people to provide this service. Uh, and we're hoping eventually, maybe next year, uh, to really do a complete full market launch. But uh, there should be people uh, selling the device around the country within the next couple of months. How can patients or practices get involved in this pilot program? Well, they should just go to our website, idaptic.com, E-Y-E-D-A-P-T-I-C.com. Uh, and idaptic, uh, we're very good about answering emails and, and questions and everything, so please feel free to contact us. Who would potentially be selling these devices? Optometrists, for the most part, are going to be the ones selling it, but patients in general should reach out to us, or their family members should reach out to us, and we can help you out. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to help people, so we'll do whatever we can to get people to be able to function and see better. Because as a retina specialist, there's only so much I can do to help you see better. So we need to give a little bit of extra help for people. Is there anything you'd like to close with? Really, I just want people to know that, you know, the, the world has allowed people to live a functional life for much, much later into their lives. I have patients in their 90s who drive themselves to my office. Every day I see at least one or two people who are over the age of 90. I have a 99-year-old who drives himself to his appointments. He's independent. He has macular degeneration. So he's, there's no reason to believe he won't live to 120 years old. There's no reason to believe you won't live to 120 years old. So wouldn't you want that life to be as functionally as independent as possible? We have the, the tools now to be able to help you do that. So don't, don't be discouraged. You know, things are getting better every day, and we will continue to work hard. And, and I'm not the only person in the world of retina who's trying to make people live better lives. We are all working. That's why we're here, to help you live a better life. 
That's great. Thank you so much, Dr. Meadow. We appreciate your time.